the month of July in a few words is synonymous with overspending in every single variable category in my budget no excuses whatsoever I overspent and I'll get into that in this video hey guys welcome to budget with a july dreamer my name is miranda and on this channel i talk about personal finance specifically sharing tips on how to save how to invest as well as how to budget if these topics of interest to you then do not forget to subscribe as well as give this video a like so today's video i will be sharing my july 2021 budget closeout let's take a moment there to just recognize that july even though it was my birthday month was an expensive month in that I overspent I think in almost every single variable category and I will be looking down on my laptop as I walk you through it I don't want to take too much of your time because my heart is actually aching from how much I spent but anyway let's get right into this like I said I'll be looking down on my laptop as I walk you through so as I mentioned in my August 2021 budget um, planning i mentioned that i'll be hiding my income uh sources this is purely for privacy reasons but i'll be showing you what the expected income is the total expected income as well as the total actual income which is what i am doing in this uh, closeout video so for the month of july i expected to have a 5600 i actually ended up having 7084 pounds and 21 pence and then i budgeted with that so we'll go to the fixed expenses first so my mortgage is 699 and 71 pence i always budget 700 but it's actually 699 and 71 pence then i had decided to put my rental mortgage in this budget tracker because i thought i was gonna have to start paying in the month of july but actually uh i closed just at the end of june and my mortgage came in july so i'm gonna start making repayments in august so I actually spent some money of 180 pounds and 65 pence on my rental property so this is not towards the mortgage but towards other costs that have come up for the rental property then tithe and giving I'm a Christian I believe in giving so that's 400 pounds so I did that a life insurance at 168 and 17 pounds council tax and la landlord insurance so I'll start off with council tax because I didn't pay anything for this one so at the end of June I decided that I want to change um, I think end of June beginning of July I decided when I, I to change when um, my council tax is taken out so I decided to remove it from the middle of the month to the beginning of the month so because of that they had to rejiggle things around and they have changed it so my next payment will be the first of August today um well today is a sunday so obviously they'll take it out tomorrow on the second so this is why for the month of july i actually did not pay anything my landlord's insurance again this is something that i needed to have for my mortgage but because obviously i didn't get that until i think the mortgage didn't come through until a couple of days into go on um, into july we decide we decided to also just make sure that they um landlord insurance started when the you know when i wanted it to start so my first payment won't be um for actually no my first payment is also on the first of august so it will come out tomorrow on the second streaming services i had budgeted um 65 but i only spent 32 pounds 49 purely because i've cancelled a few of the streaming services like now tv i've gotten rid of my cable with sky so now i only have um disney plus prime which i already pay for annually then what's left is netflix and spotify and then for my car insurance 62 pounds 39 gas so i changed providers at the end of june beginning of july so this is why the price is actually lower than what i budgeted so it's 25 pounds 48 then my peloton membership is 39 pounds my internet broadband is 38 pounds 37 so with this one i actually under budgeted purely because i thought with my previous provider i had paid everything but it turns out i hadn't so they charged me for that so i um 
I under budgeted really by three pounds 37 which is just fine then water and sore again same thing with the cancer tax i decided to change when i get charged instead of the middle of the month i changed to the first so didn't pay anything for july i'm gonna pay now in august electricity again i changed the provider for my electricity same thing with my gas so i went to a company that um provided a uh, better service well yeah better services and uh, a good back for my money um so that's why it's 29 pounds and 61 pence instead of 33 which is what i normally pay and then buildings and contents insurance again this one was an oversight on my part i put 22 instead of 25 which is fine it was an oversight on my part um travel insurance is 18 tv license is 13 37 and then home emer uh, emergency insurance obviously i've paid for the whole year so there's nothing so I thought I was going to spend 2,305. I actually spent 1,731 and 44 pence. A good start for the fixed expenses. Now, <laughs> let's move on to the variable expenses where it gets real interesting. Starting off with food. So if you've watched my closeout videos for um june for may i think even for april i have been working on reducing my food budget so for june i did a food challenge where i only spent 20 pounds a week for my food which meant i only spent 80 pounds in total for june and i think i did something similar for may but come july i was doing really well until i asked my sister-in-law if my nephew could come and stay with me and um, because he's vegetarian i had to buy a whole lot of veggies so that i can make sure my nephew had good food when he visited me so this is why even though i haven't overspent in my food category i've actually spent more than i normally do so i spend between 80 to 110 but i had to buy some more things for my nephew so this is why i spent 145 pounds again not bad it's still below my budget extra mortgage repayment i made the decision halfway through the month of july not to contribute further to my mortgage my extra mortgage repayment so i only made a payment of 18 pounds 46 home maintenance i spent 61 pounds 97 again under budget which is great this is rare for home because i always have something i want to decorate there's always a room i want to change around there's always things i want to buy for my house so it was really interesting that i did not spend and maybe subconsciously i knew not to spend so much because of the next couple of categories that you can see on the screen so miscellaneous good lord so many things happened in july first of all it was my birthday month and i got some birthday money which meant i spent about i think 200 pounds and then the rest 125 pounds and 10 pence is actually from just things that happened that you know did not fit into any category and yeah so I budgeted 100 pounds and I spent 325 pounds and 10 pence. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I'm still pinching myself and I'm still having a talk with myself because this is a lot of money. Then moving over to my personal mobile, I budgeted 85. I spent 80. Holiday planning, like I said, I've got a couple of holidays coming up and one of them I just booked at last minute. Um, as in i didn't think much about it i just purchased it and i was like oh this has actually made me overspend but anyway it's fine so i overspent by 10 pounds 45 i budgeted 75 i spent 85 pounds 45 pence shopping again maybe subconsciously i knew that in other areas i overspent so i didn't really do much shopping to be honest which very surprising for me but not also surprising at the same time if that makes sense because i haven't really been feeling the need to go shopping eating out that yes but shopping not so much uh so moving on to eating out last month i overspent the month before i overspent this month well the month of july also overspent 
I really need to increase this but I don't want to because the more I increase it the more I seem to overspend so I'm just gonna try and do better for the month of August a lot of things have opened up I've got a lot of birthdays to attend presents to buy you know meals to have and all of that just so because of that I know that I definitely definitely need to do better so I overspent <laughs> I overspent by a hundred and 12 122 and 40 pence i budgeted 70 i spent 192 and 40 pence mad fuel i actually underspent in this one i budgeted 70 i spent 65 pounds 42 then for a family member's phone i actually closed down the contract so there were some fees there that came with doing that so they charged me 38 pounds and 56 pence which is over by 13 pounds 56 because i only budgeted 25 pounds then my financial subscriptions i cancelled the other ones i've only got one left which means i underspent by 12 pounds five pence which is good so i only spent seven pounds 95 so initially i had budgeted to spend 1120 in variable expenses i actually spent 1000 50 pounds and 30 pence even with all of my overspending you could see that i actually did not spend as much as i had budgeted this is because i have buffer in my account i have extra money and also because i essentially use money from other categories so i i could have easily just change the numbers around and then make it look like i did really well but that's not the point of budgeting so i have actually shown you my true numbers exactly how i spent how i overspent in some categories and underspent in some categories making it that i actually underspent um compared to how much i decided to i had budgeted for at the beginning of the month so that is variable expenses yes it's a lot of money more than i normally spend but it was my birthday month that's the only excuse i have and then moving over to sinking funds i have four categories in there so for the car i put in 97 99 pounds and 75 pence christmas i put in 25 pounds gifts i put in 42 pounds 79 i actually put in i think about 65 pounds or there about but they were three birthdays including mine in july so i actually spent in that category and then annual bills i was moving things around so i moved some of the money from there about seven pounds i moved to the uh gifts category so this is why this is minus seven so i didn't actually put anything in there but i actually took money out so total for my sinking funds is 160 pounds and 54 pence so that's how much i spent in my sinking funds then for um my savings my actual savings so for my home maintenance fund i said i wanted to add in 300 pounds i added in 325 pounds and 23 pence for my holiday money which is this is for holidays for next year i wanted to add in 200 pounds but i only was able to add in 100 pounds emergency fund i wanted to add in a thousand pounds but i only managed 785 pounds investments initially i wanted 450 but i added in 513 then i have also other investments with my plum savings account so i was able to save 158 pounds and 44 pence now you will notice that there is money here in red so this is money that is left over plus a buffer because i have um bills coming out on the first of the month i never i mean i allocate money to things but i never spend all the money in my account every money has a job in my account but it just never gets spent like oh the first of july to the 31st we spend everything no because i've got money uh, bills that come out on the first of the month i always keep money over so that i can cover those earlier bills and then i get paid later in the month then you know I continue the cycle so that's why for carryover money i have 2260 pounds and 26 pence that i'm carrying over into the month of august so essentially for my savings i have saved 4141 and 93 pence but if you think about it we can minus 2260 and 26 pence because that is going to be used now that we are in the month of august so 
this is all i had to share for my july 2020 i almost say june july 2020 um budget closeout i hope you enjoyed this video if you did do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content that i'm sharing thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye